Welcome back to my channel Math School. In today's video, let us solve question number 4 from exercise 7.1, chapter 7, coordinate geometry. In my previous videos, I have completed the distance formula, examples 1 to 5 and questions 1 to 3 from the same exercise. If you have not watched these videos, do find the link in the description box below or click the i button above Sunday. So now quickly, let us begin with the video. Question number 4 from exercise 7.1, chapter 7, coordinate geometry says, check whether coordinates of 3 points are given that is 5 comma minus 2, 6 comma 4 and 7 comma minus 2 are the vertices of an isosceles triangle. So here they have given us three vertices or points and we have to check whether these form an isosceles triangle. So first of all let us see what is an isosceles triangle. Any triangle which has two equal sides it is called as an isosceles triangle. For example if you consider a triangle ABC here any two sides must be equal. Right here if we consider A AB equal to AC or if AB is equal to BC or if BC is equal to AC, any two sides must be equal. We are assuming if AB is equal to AC, then we can say that triangle ABC is an isosceles triangle. So here let us assume the three vertices or the points given as the point A, point B and point C. So let us write down let point A be 5 comma minus 2, point B be 6 comma 4 and point C be 7 comma minus 2 be the given points. So here the point A is 5 comma minus 2, point B is 6 comma 4 and point C is 7 comma minus 2. Right, so here we will apply the distance formula and find out the distance AB, BC and AC. And then we can determine whether any two sides of this triangle is equal or not. So let us write down the distance formula first. So distance formula is given by square root of x2 minus x1 the whole whole square plus y2 minus y1 the whole square. So to find out the distance between point A to B for AB, let us assume point A to be x1 y1, point A is minus 5 comma 2, let this be x1 y1 and point B be x2 y2. Okay, so we will find out the distance between point A to point B. Applying the distance formula, distance AB is given by square root of x2 minus x1 the whole square. Here x2 is 6 and x1 is 5. So 6 minus 5 the whole square plus y2 minus y1 the whole square. Here y2 is 4 and y1 is minus 2. So y2 is 4 minus of y1 is minus 2 again okay the whole square so this will be square root of what is 6 minus 1 6 minus 1 is 1 square plus here we have 4 minus of minus 2 minus and 2 minus will become plus so this will be 4 plus 2 the whole square right so this will be square root of what is 1 square is 1 plus 4 plus 2 is 6 and 6 square is 36, right? So 36 plus 1 will be, AB will be equal to square root of 37. Now similarly, let us find out the distance AC. Find out the distance AC, let us assume again point A to be x1, y1 and point C to be x2, y. Point A is given by 5 comma minus 2. Let this be x1, y1 and point C C given by 7 comma minus 2 b x2 y2. Here you can assume any one of the point to be x1 y1 or x2 y2. So let us find out the distance between point A to C by applying the distance formula. So AC is given by square root of what is x2 minus x1. So the here x2 is 7 and x1 is 5. So 7 minus 5 the whole square plus y2 minus y1 here y2 is minus 2 minus of y1 y1 is again minus 2 the whole square so 7 minus 2 is how much 2 since 7 is a greater number we are taking plus 2 the whole square plus we have here minus 2 here minus into minus will become plus 2 the whole square so this will be square root of 2 square is 4 plus minus 2 and plus 2 will become 
0. So, this is 0 square will be 0. Therefore, AC value will be equal to square root of 4. Square root of 4 is how much? 2. Now, let us find out BC. Let us assume point B to be x1, y1 and point C to be x2, y. So, B given by 6, 4 B x1, y1 and the point C given by 7, minus 2 B x2, y. So, let us find out the distance of BC by applying the distance formula where x2 minus x1 here 7 minus 6 the whole square plus y2 minus y1 here y2 is minus 2 minus of y1 is 4 the whole square so this will be what is 7 minus 6 it is 1 square plus here we have minus 2 and minus 4 so we have to add with a minus sign so 4 plus 2 is 6 it is minus 6 the whole square. So, square root of 1 square is 1 plus square of a negative number will be again positive. 6 square is 36. BC is equal to square root of T7. Now, let us check all the three sides that is AB, AC and BC. We can observe that the side AB and BC are equal. So, here the sides AB and BC are equal right so therefore write down since ab is equal to bc and that is equal to root 37 therefore the given points 5 comma minus 2 6 comma 4 and 7 comma minus 2 are the vertices of an isosceles triangle so this is an easy problem unless you know the property of an isosceles triangle to solve it so this is how we solve this problem if you have any further doubts do comment me below in the comment section in my next video i'll be solving question number 5 from exercise 7.1 chapter 7 coordinate geometry so till then do like my video subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell button below to get the latest updates of my videos as I'll be completing the whole syllabus for class 10th SLC insert math and also do watch the related videos of chapter 7 coordinate geometry shown on the screen. Thank you.